and then we looked into what happens if untreated, both viral or non-viral hepatitis can lead to cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is this scar uh, tissue formation in the liver, and it will be advanced. It is the advancement of the liver injury and liver disease. Then we also thought about um, what else can cause liver injury. These are the medications, prescribed medications, or abused drugs, or the alcohol is one of them. And then we also thought about the drug-induced uh, liver injury, mainly applicable to pharmacists like you, that to help the patient. Any questions? Um, I'll try to answer. Yeah. Uh, I have a concentration that where do you want to focus on the exam? Oh, the, you see, I have given you two lectures. One was on the medicine of chemistry of inflammatory uh, bowel disease. So let's I'm not going to ask you any question on irritable bowel disease because uh, we didn't talk about it um, because it's not in this syllabus. So there is the inflammatory bowel disease that is one you get nine questions out of it, make purely medicinal chemistry part of it. And today's lecture is on pathophysiology, pharmacology of hepatitis um, and the uh, drug induced uh, liver, uh, that is the cirrhosis. It's again nine, nine questions for this. Okay. And there are, uh, so my, from my side, 18 questions. There will be 45 questions, just like in our uh, previous exams. Out of 45, 18 in mine, and the remaining 27 from that drop off. He's under, the, he's under the impression that he only has 20 questions. No, he got the email from the oh, course okay. coordinator that we know okay. has sent us the question distribution. Oh, okay. So he should write 27, I'll be writing 18. If you want to write more, it's okay. <laughs> it's up to him, but he cannot, no one can give less than what we are assigned. I cannot say, only I will give you 10, 10 questions, but I have to give you points for the other three questions. Either it could be three points, or so it is better to write questions what I would ask them. Okay? So if you want to throw in some bonus, extra credit on that. I'm sorry? Oh, the <laughs> extra credit, yeah, remember I asked you all to submit a case study uh, question in the oh, first okay. yeah, reading. Uh, some of you did respond. Uh, but if Dr. Romo asks if there are any case study uh, done, uh, give me those, and then I will send out those uh, to submit it. Specifics. How many times will work it? I'm sorry? How many times will work it? That I don't know. The support coordinator will, for adjustments, if he, he can give two points, he that can give. Uh, so it will be minor contribution. Oh. To help any borderline of Okay. Um, specifically for this lecture, what do you want us to focus on? Well, these three have to know the viral hepatitis. Mm -hmm. um, the, like, the, the, out, the, out of five, which are the dangerous ones, they, they are, they're just, how are they spread to? So this is pathophysiology. And pharmacology, what are the antiviral drugs? And what are the non-immunomodulators? That, that's what I uh, focus on. And then the, the conditions, how the drug induced uh, liver injury occurs, what are the drugs potential um, positive drugs for the liver injury. But if you study this, this is, you know, uh, this handout, that's good enough for this one. Nine questions.
presented, I'm available here in front of the class. Uh, you can come and talk to me.